Hey, I know you probably don't want to see me right now, but are you okay? You usually talk to me after you get home, but you just walked right through me. Is everything all right? I don't think I believe you. Why don't you lift your head up so your pillow isn't making it near impossible to hear you? Please? I know you don't want to, but I really can't hear you like this, and that will make it a lot harder to help you. Of course I want to help you. You're my friend, and I care about you a lot. When you're hurting, I want to be there for you because you deserve it. So, come on, let me help you. Of course I do. I hate to see you feeling like this. And if there's anything I can do to help you get to feeling better, even just a little bit, then I'd be happy to do it. You don't deserve to hurt and suffer alone. Just let me know what's going on. Oh, hell, I don't even need to know that. Just tell me what you need, and I'll help you with it. If you need to talk about it, I'm here to listen and help you get it all out. If you need to not talk about it, then I can find something to fill the silence and make sure you're not alone with your own thoughts for too long. No matter what it is, I'll help you to the best of my ability. You help me with things like this all the time, and I want to be able to be there for you too. So, what's up? What can I do for you? Um... Um, yeah. I understand. Sometimes the things you'd be able to handle on most days, they just they hit you too hard. And you can't pick yourself up because everything just piles up on top of you. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to everyone. No, no. hey, come on now. Just because other people may have other things going on, even if those things might seem worse. It doesn't invalidate your feelings. Sure, there might be varying degrees of bad, but bad things are still bad. A paper cut and a broken bone are both injuries. If you had a bad day, that still means something. It's completely normal to feel shitty after a day like this. And you shouldn't feel bad that you, well, feel bad. Does that make sense? Uh, mm, fair point, but just because I'm dead doesn't mean you can't be sad, too. Being a ghost doesn't make me heartless. <laughs> well, you know what I meant. <laughs> I'm heartless in the literal sense, not in the metaphorical sense. <laughs> but, but like I was saying, I may be a ghost, but I remember when I was human when I was alive. I remember having days like this and wishing that someone would see how sad I was and offer to help. But while I wanted help, I also didn't want to say anything about it because I didn't want people to think that I was being annoying or needy or weak. Between actually wanting help and not wanting to be a burden, I got caught up in my head and it just made everything worse. It made me feel isolated and alone, wanting to reach out to someone but being too scared to do so. It's a terrible feeling, and I don't want you to have to feel that way. So, if you really want me to leave you alone, I will. But I want you to know that you should never be scared to reach out to me. I'm here for you. And you don't have to worry about being a burden or about me thinking that you're weak. Having emotions doesn't make you weak. But sometimes it's just all too much and you need a little extra strength from somebody else. When that happens, I want you to know that you can come to me. I'm your friend. And I'm happy to lend you as much as you need. 
It's no problem. Like I said, you're my best friend. And I hate seeing you hurting alone. So, how about it? Is there anything I can help you with? Or would it be best for me to leave you alone? Like I said, it's all up to you. But if there's anything, anything at all, that I can do, all you need to do is let me know. Okay? Oh, yeah, of course. If talking about it is what's going to help you, then I am more than happy to listen. Here, first, let's get comfortable. I know that after a day like this, getting into some more comfy clothes will be a big help. You go ahead and change, and I'll go get your blanket off the couch. I think you left it there this morning, but I know it's your favorite, so we'll definitely want it. I'll be right back. Uh, hey, can you open the door? I may be good, but I'm not that good yet. <laughs> yeah, trying to float through something while holding a solid object is way too hard for me. I may be able to get there at some point, but right now I have no idea where to start. But hey, at least I can carry stuff now. Look, I can even carry this blanket. Though it is getting kind of heavy. You want to go ahead and grab it for me? Ah, thank you much. Now, let's go get in your bed so you can wrap yourself up in your blankets. I'll cuddle with you, but I'm not going to lay under any blankets since it kind of feels so heavy. Alright, let me just lie right here next to you. Now, you go ahead and tell me about your day, and I'll just listen. I'm not going to interrupt or ask any questions. You just go ahead and get it all out in the open, and I'll listen for as long as you need, even if you fall asleep before you finish. We can always talk about it when you wake up, if you need to. I'm just going to listen, so go ahead and get it all out there, for your own sake. Just remember... It doesn't matter if you cry or get emotional. I'm here for you. I'm always going to be here for you. <laughs> 